Sup, y'all? It's me again. I'm back again, bitch. Yes, Lord. Anybody got that gas? Please pass it. Um, it's www. Pass that gas to Charlotte at gmail.com. All right, because y'all make me do long sections. This is long. I need to sip some soda. <laughs> you know you gotta do shit extra animated because they can't see. All right, but that was what, what is that bitch? What was I sipping on? What was the bitch sipping on? Tell him. Strawberry soda. What? I'm in the hood, bro. Were you sipping on some strawberry soda right on. with the crush, bro? Yeah, oh, usually sweet. it's the pineapple. No, usually it's the grape, and usually it's the Welch's, nigga. And when it comes to Welch's, you don't care what flavor. That's it, juice. This is soda. I know, but they they they, they do sodas. Yeah, but uh, yeah. Ah. I forgot what fucking number video this is. What video number this is? Ella bitches sipping this golden eggnog. I should be sipping golden eggnog on the toilet, y'all, because I am lactose than a bitch. But uh, what 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 number this is? One. This first one. We fuck, need to do the fuck your mother. This is like four. Okay. This yeah. Okay. This is four. All right. Uh oh, get off me! I was going there. Get off me! You took a loss. It's Charlotte, 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 and Charlotte. The best YouTuber in the world now. Okay, look. We're back with my cousin Yang Section. We got 17 more videos to go before we finish the section. But when y'all rocking with me, get y'all golden egg log, sit on the toilet, light a cigarette, and a match with your boy. Sometimes your girl, Charlotte Carolina. Let's rewind this bitch. It's your girl, so your boy, Charlotte Carolina, on the back with another one. And we got the Kanye. It's not crazy. He's just a little bipolar. But remember what he said in the last video. He is not actually bipolar. That was a misdiagnosis. So they might misdiagnose my black ass. But that's a different story, a different time. But let's bust it down. So this is about my nigga, Kanye. Yay. Jesus. Mr. Kardashian. Yo. This is about my boy right here. We going in the we going in the way he was at uh what's his nigga Joel Osteen? Is that how you pronounce his name? Yeah, roll up a couple of those. Cause I'm not, I know the cigarette's cool, but I kinda like that better sometimes. Especially if I got papers. Sorry to interrupt y'all, just talking about some smoking shit. Alright, yo. But please don't do drugs. And um <laughs> if you okay, put it this way. Leave the opiates alone. Smoke weed every day, but leave the opiates alone, nigga. And don't be smoking all them strands of weed, too, because some of them strands are stronger than a bitch. People forget that shit, too, right? They be like, oh, it's weed. I smoke it. And they smoke it out of a fucking seizure to call the eyes rolling in the back of their head and shit like eight balls. And not the kind of, not the kind of ones y'all like to smoke. You know what I'm talking about? So, look. Here we go. Who the fuck is Joe Osteen? Ain't, ain't his daddy. I know who he is. He a preacher that be on that channel. But did y'all say he was one of them kind of preachers, you know, one of the back put like Reverend Ike ass preacher niggas, you know? All my old school niggas know about that. But uh -huh. I but I don't be fucking and who the other one? Who the other one? Who the other one? The one with the foot the old T D Jakes? Oh yeah. Let me like that for you, because I'll pass it to you. You ain't gonna let them shit always pass it to me. Making me feel second handed. Alright, tap that footage right there, girl. I did I need that to get put that back once you tap the footage. Uh uh, we already rolling. Go ahead. You know I gotta talk about shit tomorrow. Tonight's time. Sunday service, and when I heard he was coming, I said, "Man, you gotta come on Sunday morning at least say hello to the people." So here we feel blessed to have you, Kanye. And Kanye, we just just some thoughts. Maybe we've all seen, you know, something happened in the last year or so. Not where you were. Back then, maybe you can just speak a little oh, bit to the we're transition. We're top, so you know, how are you here today at Lakewood? Make sure you watch time ready. Right <laughs> <laughs> you got like two minutes. You be like, well. Talk to you, I got to say something. After I've been doing it, wait a minute, another two more okay, right. Slide up off me. I'm about to pass it to you.
Who shoot get that ambulance? They ain't coming to get me out here with them. Hey, y'all, uh, I think I bust my stitches over, but I'm good, though. Fucking around, got angry this morning. I tell you, Mito Ellis is a bitch. He's just about to tell you about it. Uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a new, I'm a new Yeezus fan, yo. And if I want, cause you know I'm a Republican, right? Yeah. No, did you really know that? Yeah. What did I become more than Mrs. Mrs. Smarty Pants? Several years ago. Uh. Uh-uh. Really? Two. Really? Yeah, cause I, I didn't give a damn. But I picked the side, and that one came from you. I don't like you, cause you taught me everything, and then you make like you taught me nothing. <laughs> you be like, I didn't teach you shit. I had a job. I was trying to feed you. I like television radio shit. But that ain't true, nigga. Remember you told me this. You say it. And when I say huh, I mean, and so, from so and so, YouTube channel. Bitch ain't dropped a video in 17 days. But I'm big ass, dude. I'm yeah, squeezing little baby nipples until she drop a video. I did one day for you. I'm a purple heart nipple until she drop a video. God damn it. So here we go. What she told me was, sometimes you got to go with the niggas that know everything and bring it back to your people. So everybody that's broke is my people because I'm broke, right? And they say, yeah, if you black, you got to be Democrat like Kyle Jesus was saying in the yeah. last one. And then when you get a certain amount of money move up in the tax bracket, then your ass come Republican because you know they're about your ass now. You feel me? But one thing I learned is when I'm one of those niggas to bring it back, I got to be a Republican that talks to the Democrats. So therefore, you got to be one of the, you got to be double-sided like I said about my nigga Aton LaVey. What? Um... Uh-uh. This, this is my time. You, you get the balls in the middle. Shut up. So, 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 and write it down if you forget. Now, so, I became a Republican because I wanted to run my own party to laugh. Uh, I'll do that later in another video, but I was working on my own Republican party. I just needed more people to sign off on a uh, petition to go ahead with it. And that motherfucker cost a lot for broke days. You know, well, like, my first YouTube check, I'm about to ball out on these hoes. I'm going to run up a check on these hoes. But look, so... I think that's what my nigga Kyle Jesus is doing. But I'm a new, uh, what you call him? Uh, what you call him when you a new fan? Or somebody that you been a fan of? What you call that? Like, he, he reignited my Jesusness. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, I fucks with him, you know? Like, musically, I fucked with him, but I fuck with him as a person now. In a sense. Okay. Because I'm one of them niggas, I like what he's saying. I'm the, I'm the nigga that do. What Roseanne was saying was fucked up, but still chuckled a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I'm one of them kind of niggas. Let's go. And look at the look at look, 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 little baby. I can't stand the suit, though. The suit, it need to go back home. Huh? And I love him to death. And them shoes, the, the Yeezys, the Yeezys are cold. But them damn slavery $2 outfits he be making. Whoa, Lord. And this nigga always got a little baby chest out. Ain't mm-hmm. got a drop of hair on that bitch. Smoother than blue out of his ass. But still, <laughs> I don't understand why he was going to... Look, 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 look. And a little flare. Look at the little flare at the waist he got there. Yeah, yeah, he flaring it. But let me shut up so he can talk his shit for a minute. And I'll be back with some more commentary. I can't stand this nigga. Mr. Osteen right here, he look like a criminal, don't he? Mm-hmm. Well, we got Mr. West out. Shut the fuck up. Jesus, do your shit, dog. The God's been calling me for a long time, and the devil's been distracting me for a long time. And when I was, you know, in my lowest points, you know, God was there with me and sending me visions and inspiring me. And I remember sitting in the, the hospital at UCLA after having a mental breakdown and there's a uh, documentations of me drawing a church and saying, writing a start a church in the, in the middle of Calabasas. And even after that, I went and made the, the life of Pablo album. I said, this is a gospel album. And I didn't know how to totally make a gospel album. And the Christians that were around were too, uh, 
I would say beaten into submission by society to not speak up and profess the gospel to, you know, to me because I was a superstar. So, but the, the only superstar is Jesus. Did you take that for the place? So as Jesus I sat there the saying, you know, I, I'm going to make a gospel album. There were Christians that were there that were not, excuse me, brother. If I, I go into these streams of consciousness when I'm talking and when you, when you speak it in the middle of it, it, it distracts me. I really appreciate the support, but I would like for everybody to be completely silent so I can let God flow through me as I speak to you guys today. Now, let me talk my shit now. Every time LC talk, he talks some shit, I ain't say much, but I got to talk some shit on this one. Shut the fuck up for a little bit, Jesus. Please, Jesus. Can somebody slap this nigga? I know he trying to swag out this, this speech like hell, right? Because he, he in the church. Let God be. Come on, Jesus. Let, let me talk my shit one time. Can I? Can yeah. I talk my shit? Talk it. Can okay. I talk my shit now? Can I? <clears throat> Here we go. Don't talk to All right, now. We already know there is no God, there is no devil, right? So, all the visions he was doing is him. He is a damn artist. He went to art school at five. You know, baby, art school, he grew up be, he's uh -huh. a good-ass artist. Yeah. He could draw his ass off. I might even do a video on that <laughs> documentary with his mom, remember? Uh -huh. When she was walking with him. Uh -huh. His mama ain't bad. I would have slide. Me and Donda would have got some shit going on. His name wouldn't have been Jesus. It would have been some, some shit like Charlotte Carolina, Peacock West or some shit. You know how we do it out here. Hey, Peacock West, that'd be hard, right? We need to get together and make an album, don't we? Uh -huh. Watch the throne part three. Chirac Cripples. We could do it. What? I... How am I doing what? This is my video. They come to watch my sections. I have mental illness just like him. And I am trying to let God flow through me while I'm trying to speak. And you just talking through watching it. Brother, calm down. Okay. Calm down, brother. I'm trying to speak. Let God flow through me. Now look. <laughs> and that is true. But what ain't true is all of this. <clears throat> excuse me. Just because you got there don't make no damn sense, right? Just because you're in a church and you're talking in front of these people, that's when you talk your shit. You know, well, you know, God was sent with me and Jesus is a Can you please shut the fuck up? Doesn't that get on your nerves a little bit, though? They're not like that normally. He ain't been like that two years ago. Yeah, but he evidently had an epiphany. But if he named himself Jesus, right? Mm-hmm. And in certain, hold up, wait now. In certain, in certain languages, that's still Jesus, right? Okay. Because the word and the G, right? Yeah, okay. So therefore, he was already blaspheming, if you want me to say that, right? Okay. How all of a sudden, now God is flowing through you, but you ain't Jesus no more. What is he now? Yay. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> But that, that's the only thing. If there's no God, no Jesus, all this is extra right here, bro. Ain't it? But hey, you got to swing it, don't you? But I love that face he made. You remember that face? George Bush. Don't care nothing about black people. <laughs> they were, wait a minute. Whoa, wait a minute. The cut. The, the, the fuck. The, the shit. The, the MTV clip. We we have technical difficulties right now. This is Matt Lauer. Kanye has lost his goddamn mind. Let's go to Chris Tucker, please. Did you know how quick they, they didn't know what the fuck they what shit shit somebody press the button. The editing Steve was mad as hell, but isn't that on another video? Did I do that video earlier? Yeah. I told you I did a lot of sections already. I can't even remember. But that was funny. I just had to rip shit out of He don't give a shit about niggas. He should have said niggas. I would've I would have I would have fell over, right? I forgot you don't find it too soon. <laughs> Not really. So, in the studio, 
in this studio, it will, it, it's going to compare to places that you're in in life where people tell you to quiet your voice and not talk about Jesus, you know, so loud. But everything else is so loud around us. When I'm in California and when I'm in Vegas, they got posters up advertising, you know, sex trafficking. Because if there's an advertisement for a strip club, that is advertising sex trafficking. Because at the end of the night, when they close up, the, the manager says, how much traffic do we have? Facts. I told you, my nigga don't, my nigga, my nigga, my nigga's a genius. He, he don't slip. That was facts though, right? Good facts though. It's like, you don't even think about that, right? Because they do say that. Uh. How much traffic have we had? This so Jesus. if it's a, a man that's going through things with his family or going through things at work and he feels he has to go there, we all end up participating with this spirits that get advertised to us all the time. Alcohol is, they call it a spirit. Thanks. So we get constant advertisement for spirits. We get constant advertisement for strip clubs and other things like that. But then we bring up the name of Jesus. We're told to be quiet, quiet that down. So even for someone who's professing God and saying this is going to be a, go a gospel album, the devil's going to come and do everything he can to distract people from knowing how to fully be in service to the Lord. And all of that arrogance and confidence and cockiness that y'all seen me use uh, before God is now using for him. Because every time I stand up, I feel that I'm standing up and drawing a line in the sand and saying, I'm here in service to God and no weapon formed against me shall prosper. That's so good, Kanye. You know, um, Kanye, maybe one of the most powerful, I've heard you a lot of your interviews, but maybe, can you speak any to, you said you used to worship the God of fame and the God of some of those things, and they didn't, that didn't fulfill you. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yes, because it's presented to oh, us said, on right? TV. There's a room I heard where uh, someone had sat down with Sammy Davis Jr., and this is no you know, not to his family, but I want to use a specific name that we know of because it's a celebrity name. We have these icons we use it. And he leaned in and said, you know, Satan is as powerful as God. And that is the mentality that people have a lot of times when they're in service to fame, money, manpower. You start to feel like Satan is the most powerful. And you start to feel like if you service God, that in life, it means you will not prosper. And the only way to prosper kind of is in service to fame. And it, you know, it's like the devil stole all the good producers. <laughs> the devil stole all the good musicians, all the good artists, all the good designers, all the good business people and said, you got to come over and work for me. And now the trend, the shift is going to, sh to change. Jesus has won the victory. Okay. Listen to me closely. You listening? And lean in too because I, to, I want you to say your piece and I say it be quick because we got much time, right? What do you think about Kanye West for President 20? 2024. And I'll tell you why I say that. Hmm. I'm going to say that one sentence. He got some hell of a good speech writers, my nigga. Yeah. But don't you think he can do it? Yeah, I think so. Because look at all the double sides that this nigga could do. I, I know, I saw that shit too. Uh, but I'm going to act like I didn't. Uh, <laughs> Bitch. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um. And that was just when I said that shit too, huh? But 
Don't look at me. Um, <laughs> what you think about that dude? 2024. Um. Go to US. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. I think he would. He could. He could. He could at least do a good running. Yeah. So hashtag. But then you, we don't know how he would be under all of the pressure. You know. We don't know how none of them be all over the pressure. No. Yeah, but you know, okay. Because remember, politicians can be good debaters, but they may not be good leaders and convincers. Because first you got to be a convincer or a converter, right? Mm. And then you got to be a leader. Right? Yeah. Because you have to com- convert most of the country on your side to win. Mm-hmm. True that. Then you got to make them follow you as you lead. Mm-hmm. Hey, fuck Kanye West 2024. Charlotte Carolina, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Oops. How about Kanye? You know, I grew up, I'm a preacher's kid. You didn't grow up like me. How, you know, maybe speak a little bit to, uh, to your upbringing and, you know, how that all, how all that affected you. Well, my, my dad had me in church three times a week. For me as a kid, you know, going to church on Wednesday instead of going to basketball practice or getting to play video games got to be, you know, a little bit boring. And my mom had me in church twice a week or definitely on Sundays. We actually grew with the church. It was a pastor named Johnny Coleman. And we grew from a small church to a mega church, a Chicago version. I think it grew to like five, 6,000 um, and my mom always had the records in the house and would be playing a lot of R&B records. But then we'd go and hear the hear the gospel and hear worship. So, you know, as I now have a family, I'm 42 years old and married for five years. Um, there's a blatant responsibility for me to become more like... My, my mother who's gone to heaven and more like my father who has a, who's working and building a water purification center in the DR. Uh, you know, with rappers, there's so many things that we've done where to maintain the idea of coolness, you know, we have our own daughters and we'll still be rapping about trying to hook up with somebody's daughter. Like not taking the responsibility as a man. That's why I say the song Closed on Sunday is the hardest record ever made. It's hard as the NWA record because it's talking about protecting your kids from the indoctrination of the media. The thousands and thousands of images that are fed to children by the age of six or seven. And within those images... There are images mixed in that we don't know about as parents that are purposely mixed in to lower the kid's superpower and esteem so that they can be more susceptible to consumption and feel that they need to consume and become a part of the robotic numeric system that controls so many, so much of the media. Did I... You know, I just had to say it like it. You can rewind it and, and then do research what I'm talking about. But it's like, <laughs> Kanye, one of my favorite songs on your new album is that song, God Is. In that middle, you've got that part where, I mean, you're preaching in the middle. It's very, very powerful. And, you know, maybe not everybody's heard it, but I just asked if I could play maybe this 30, 40, 60 second clip. And listen to this, I'll get him to comment on this. But guys, roll that if you would, please. This same- we can't do that because of YouTube. Whoop. All of us have um, <laughs> There's about the our video things that can bring, I like to say, bring our Christian scorecard down. And uh, and they'll, they'll hit you sometimes. Sometimes you still just go ahead and just pour that drink and then repent for it. So we, we are human. We are going to fall short of 
the glory. Hope I ain't I like seen nobody dance. with a 23 on um, play as good as Michael Jordan. So Christians are not going to be Christ. We are going to follow Christ and be Christ-like and repent for our sins. But it's a lot of times when people don't want to come to Christ, they try to point out the worst Christian they ever met. <laughs> and uh, But when you play basketball, you don't point to the worst basketball player, you point to the best basketball player. That's uh, so with these addictions that hit us, it's, it's, it's that content, constant, you know, being in constant repentance. A lot of people who don't want to accept what the Bible says is because they don't want to accept that they are in the wrong or that they are basking and living and capitalizing off of sin. We all have sin. It's another thing to just be selling drugs in the children's parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> you had to think about that one for a second. You had to think about it for a second. A couple of things I was thinking now. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> well, um, I you, you know, one of the things, we've got two, two more things I want to get to. Um, I heard, well, let me go to this other one first. What would you say, what would you say to the younger Kanye? You know, some young people listening, maybe they're where you were 10 years ago or something. You know, any advice for them? Go back a little bit further than that. You know, it's nothing that the younger Kanye, it's nothing I could say to the younger Kanye through words. I could speak to the younger Kanye through music. So, that makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. So, with that note, you know what it is, man. It's your girl, sometimes your boy, Charlotte Carolina, and this is installment number four. And we're going to do number five in a minute. So, wait till number eight. <laughs> Bye, y'all.